gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce this wonderful speaker, uh, a man that his, his life is all about empowering people to make quality decisions on health and food, and empowering people to take charge of their finances. He's a man of amazing integrity, a man that has a heart for helping people wherever he goes. His walking pace is faster than my sprinting pace. I get tired just seeing what he does and gets through in a day. So help me welcome Louis Smith. Wow, it's great to be here, man. What a massive turnout. You know, it's just so exciting what's happening in the world today. I remember a few years ago, I said to my wife, I don't think the Western world is ready for nutrition. You know, if it's not pizzas and hamburgers and hot dogs, they weren't ready for it. But you know, I've been traveling the world right now, just done a tour by New Zealand and Australia and the USA and the UK. And everywhere I go, as you see today, it's standing room only. And that is just so exciting. And I want to salute you for that. Because you are part of the, the group out there that's making a difference in this world. That's saying, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I want to take ownership of my life. I want to take ownership of my health. I'm suddenly realizing something is wrong. And that's where I want to start off with today. I want to start off with my story. You see, it was about 27 years ago that I had, that time I'd been fighting cancer for five years. And when I got my cancer at 26 years young, I really just understood that you go to the doctor, he's got the magic tablet pill to fix my health issue. Isn't that what we're all taught? You see, when I had a headache, I knew the problem. I had painkiller deficiency, so I'd drink, I'd take some painkiller. Nobody ever taught me that the main reason for headaches is dehydration. Drink a tall glass of water. You see, I was living on Gaviscon and Tums. Because I was under the impression that heartburn was caused by Tums deficiency. You see, nobody ever taught me that the main reason why we get heartburn in digestion is bad food choices, drinking with our meals, not chewing enough, and not breaking our food down, and we're making it worse by taking something like Tums. Because then we definitely can't break our food down because it's alkaline and our digestive system works in acid. So here I am. I get cancer. The big C word. How did I find out? I was one of these over-energetic, vibrant, hyperactive people. Do you know anybody like that? And I just got tireder and tireder. Then I had internal bleeding and I was just feeling terrible. And I said to my wife, there's something wrong with me. Before I go to a doctor, I'm going to quickly get a life policy. I never got a life policy. I got a death policy. I got nothing. Because they discovered I had cancer. For the next five years, I knew what I had to do. I had a chemotherapy deficiency. And so I had to pump myself full of drugs, medication, and chemicals. And after five years, the only thing that had happened is that my liver and my kidneys were being destroyed. The doctor was a family friend trying his best to help me. And when he basically sent me home to die, I was 31 years young. That was 27 years ago. Well, the exciting thing that happened there, right, is I went home and I discovered what an incredible God we have. Because he sent somebody across my path who taught me that the body is the healer. Not the drugs, not the medication. I had to change my environment. And I'm here today to empower you to change your environment. You see, I was really skeptical, but I was desperate. But by changing my life, by changing my environment, the first thing I changed was my supplements. You see, a friend gave me some of these supplements, and he said, Louis, you can have them if you stop everything else you're taking. Well, I really decided to stop everything else. And all I did, I moved from pharmaceutically great supplements to whole food supplements, and within two months, my cancer count is down by 50%. The most exciting thing, as a matter of fact, in days, my liver swelling started going down. My energy started coming back. I started feeling like a new person. My feet stopped smelling. Let me tell you, my feet were so rotten 
that my wife used to keep disinfectant outside our front door. My bottom of my feet were like sponges for years. You see, I was just loaded with toxins and chemicals. The saddest thing is my cancer was self-inflicted and nobody had taught me about it. You see, this friend taught me you have to uh, change your lifestyle. You see, I didn't realize the conditioner I was using could have poisoned my system. I didn't realize the shampoo I was using could have poisoned my system. I didn't realize the skin cream I was using could have poisoned my system. I didn't realize the softeners and bleachers um, that we were using and, and soaps could have been going through my skin into my system. I love popcorn. I didn't realize that cancer loves acidity and popcorn is very acid. I love peanut butter. I didn't realize until I read Dr. Norman's, Norman Walker's book what an unhealthy product that is because it can stick in your intestinal tract for years, changing the pH of your stomach. I never realized that things like nitrates and nitrites find in sandwich meat and bacons and all that kind of stuff, preservatives, can increase your cancer count. I never realized that cancer loves sugar, and I love sugar. I loved it in my coffee. I didn't realize coffee's acid, sugar's acid. I used to love chocolates and candy. I didn't realize all the toxins in those candies that can antagonize uh, uh, your, your health situation. I never realized things like jams, uh, marmalades, I've got to boiled sugar, which is acidic in the body. I didn't realize that breakfast cereal. Are you, are you understanding? I just didn't know. But this is the heartbreaking thing. After five years of working with specialists and doctors, not one person had taught me to change my life. Not one person had taught me the harmful side effects of prepackaged foods. Well, the most exciting thing was to discover the body is healer. I changed my lifestyle. Here I am, 27 years later. Isn't that so exciting? You see, I'm a message of hope to you. And I have done this for so many people. I can tell you stories of people in the USA and across the world that were sent home to die, only given months to live. Today are totally cancer-free and living great lives. No medication, no drugs. So now I started eating really well. And the thing that really shocked me was the, when I started researching labels and I started realizing that what's on the label doesn't necessarily mean it's in the product. You see, many years ago, South Africa did an investigation, the South African Bureau of Standards, and discovered the olive oil sold in one of our major supermarkets was shoe polish. So now I thought, well, that's only South Africa. Until in 2013, a big investigation in the United States happens where they investigate you. A scientist went shopping and brought back some of the most important, popular uh, brands of olive oils. And incredibly, they found 69% of them, what was in the label, was not in the product. 69%. So now when you're picking up a bottle of olive oil, surely you want to know then what's on the label is in the product. Isn't that right? Well, yes, a good one. How do I know? Because it's got a seal of accountability. That means it's got seal of third party on the product. The next thing that, uh, that surprised me, because I, was start, I stopped using sugar, I started using honey, because you all know local honey is good for you. Isn't that right? Until I saw a study. And guess what they were trying to find out? If there's such a major bee shortage in the world, where does honey come from? And they found it gets made in factories by human beings. So, did you know close on 80% of honey last year was produced by humans? Isn't that just terrible? And it could be actually harmful for you with pesticides and chemicals. Don't you love the story about tomato sauce? I'm sure you saw the story about, uh, you know, now this is a good honey. I'm only holding up good stuff for you, right? And here's a good one in the UK. That's a good one in another country. Here's a good one in the UK. And it's got the seal of accountability on. I'm telling you, there's good stuff in every country. And there's garbage in every country. But you have to find the good stuff. You have to now decide that your health is in your hands. Nobody can do it for you. You have to learn how to read labels. Look at this, tomato sauce. Who saw that study on Israel? Israel was importing Heinz tomato sauce. 
And they investigated because Israel's got a law, you have to have so many tomatoes in the tomato sauce, otherwise you can't call it tomato sauce. <coughs> and guess what? There was such a little bit of tomatoes in the Heinz tomato sauce that they've been told, change the name or put some tomatoes in it. <laughs> Isn't that just so sad? You see, we just trust. Aren't we just trusting people? Look at this over here. Organic tea. Now, I read a study that if you have three cups of green tea a day, it could really slow cancer growth down. But just a uh, this is a very good green tea. But did you see that study last year where they discovered the tea bags that the tea comes in, if it's dipped in hot water, can release something that can aggravate cancer in the body? So don't you want to, I hope until you saw it, I'm proud of you. But don't you want to know that when you pick up a box of tea, and what's on the labels in the product. Isn't that what you're looking for? So let's start with our workshop. Let's go to page one for those who have got handouts here today. And on page one, I'm only going to show you two studies. The one study is the big black one on the right hand side. It says the risk of being diagnosed with cancer. 100 years ago, it was one in 30. Today, it's one in two. Oh, my friends, how did it go from 1 in 30 to 1 in 2? That is horrendous. That means if there's 100 of us in the room, 50 of us are going to get cancer. Look at on the left-hand side. Autistic children. In 1983, 1 in 10,000 were autistic or diagnosed. Today, it's 1 in 88. Wow. How did it go from 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 88? Well, you know, there's a whole bunch of things. I don't know if you saw that study. They showed that in, in the umbilical cord feeding a mom, I mean, from the mom feeding the baby, when the baby's born, that umbilical cord is packed solid with cancer-causing carcinogens before it's born. The child doesn't stand a chance. It's what we're eating. It's in the mommy's milk. It's in your blood. Vaccinations. Wherever I travel, I don't think a day goes by when I do, where I don't hear about a healthy person going for a flu vaccination or hepatitis vaccination or a child going for vaccination and their life is radically changed forever. Now, I'm not saying it's vaccinations only. I'm saying it's the whole combination of toxic and poisons. Who would have ever thought that a baby powder can cause cancer? Uh, who would have ever thought that Vaseline is petroleum? Comes, that's what your car runs on. Who would have ever thought that baby oils can be made from petrol, from petroleum? You should use things like coconut oil. You should use things uh, that are edible because your skin's an organ. But there's a lot of hope out there. I'm here to bring you hope today. I'm not here to Mr. Doom and Gloom, right? I don't want you to leave this room and commit suicide. <laughs> I want you to leave this room and say, man, I was empowered today. You see, if you want, we live in the UK. Uh, a lot of folks live in the UK. And look at all these healthy foods across here. If you're looking for, uh, the best food to cook with is avocado oil. Incredible for cooking with. The second best one to cook with at high temperatures, grapeseed oil. The third best one is coconut oil. Yeah, we've got everything on the table. On um, you, If you're looking for a good tea, that to have a decent tea bag. Guess what? Right here. So there's great stores in every country. We're living in a country where there's really good food, but you have to do some research. And you're not creating, we're creating an organization around the world. We're putting websites together to empower you to find the right food for you and your loved ones. The right laundry detergents for you and your, and everything's free. And that to me is just so exciting because we're on a mission. I'm in my last half of my life and I want to create a legacy. I want to travel this world empowering people to live the lives that they were created to live. So if you're looking for any kind of food, you're wanting to make sure it's got one of these seals on, page two. If you're looking for any kind of supplement, you want to make sure it's got one of these seals on over here. So I want to go now to uh, page three. Page three 
On the left-hand side is the Dirty Dozen. This is put out by the EWG. The EWG is a non-profit organization that analyzes our fruits and vegetables, and they list them according to toxicity. According to them, what is the most toxic food sold at the everyday supermarket? What, according to them, is number one? Strawberries. Isn't that just terrible? I know people that were health fanatics, but they ate strawberries on a regular basis. They're from South Africa and just had cancer in both breasts. And it's just so sad because you think you're doing the right thing. But the problem is if the pesticide is put through the roots, systemically into that strawberry, there's nothing you can do about it. So the, on the left needs to have a seal, an organic seal. And on the right, you want to make sure that number two, which is corn, and number nine, which is papaya, has an organic seal. Page five is a list of documentaries to empower you to educate yourself. And the one I highly recommend you start with is Seeds of Death, number two. That's on page five. Seeds of Death, number two. The next thing I want to teach you is in the UK there are six really good doctors. I don't know if you've met these incredible doctors. The one's on vacation quite often, and that's <laughs> Dr. Sunshine. Right? <laughs> I'll teach you this afternoon how to handle it if you do not get a, enough sunshine. But if you don't get enough sunshine, side effects like osteoporosis, depression, cancer, all that kind of stuff because you need the D3 and that kind of stuff. The next thing is air. You need to breathe and learn how to breathe. I can do a whole workshop on understanding that your lymph nodes are around your diaphragm. If you breathe deeply, we can do that after this DVD has been cut. The next thing is water. Do you know how to alkalize your water when you're traveling? You can squeeze a bit of lemon in. It alkalizes. You can put a bit of baking soda in. Remember that you should never drink around a meal. Very, very important. You shouldn't drink half an hour before a meal. You shouldn't drink about half an hour to 40 minutes after a meal because you dilute the hydrochloric acid. Very important. Exercise. You need to get the blood circulation. So why do so many sportsmen get cancer? Because they're taking trashy supplements, which you're going to talk. They're taking trashy protein shakes, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes' time. Rest. You need to rest a bit. You need to go on vacation. You need to sleep enough every night. If you do not recover, you can't fight disease. Your body has to rest. Diet. That's what we want to ch chat about here today. Eating the right food. Because you know that God created food to look like the part of the body it heals. Isn't it incredible to see over here that celery looks like a bone and celery is just incredible for bone healing? Isn't it incredible to see over here that a carrot looks like an eye and carrot is great for bad night vision, cataracts, glaucoma, weak eyes, sores, all that kind of stuff? Isn't it incredible to understand that the outer part of the citrus looks a lot like the outer part of the memory gland? in the breast and it's got bioflavonoids to protect you from breast cancer. I can spend a whole 20 minutes on this and I don't, I only allocated it two minutes. The next thing to understand over here is that they then decided, okay, how many people actually get the nutrient out their food that they eat? So what they did, they took 22,000 people and they're trying to find out how many of them get the 59 nutrient families out their diet. Guess how many? It says over here, not one person, I repeat, not a single person even received 10 of the most important 59 nutrient families out of the food. And the reason being, in 1948, if you ate a bowl of spinach, you got 150 micrograms of nutrition. In 1998, you got 2 micrograms of nutrition because of farming practices, because of harvesting, because of soil depletion of minerals and nutrients and it's really important to understand the food we're eating today is so valueless that's why I'm a juicing fanatic and then we don't chew enough and you take a carrot you eat a carrot to get 2% of nutrition you juice a carrot to get over 95% of the nutrition out there I'm going to switch direction right now and we're going to talk about supplements for a few minutes and the reason being because you think the food industry is bad the supplement industry is just as bad, if not worse, than the food industry. Hmm. 
And this dude is so, so sad. I'm just going to show you some studies. The first study I'm going to show you in the supplement industry was a study done on beta carotene. Ever heard of beta carotene? Well, in... Chris, can you clean this? Thank you so much. So this study was done in Europe and was an incredible study, which I'll show you in just a few seconds' time. Thank you. Look at this shop, man. All right. Give him a hand. He's doing a great job here. Around. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. Too. So what they did over here, in the year 1994, am I right? Yeah, 1994, they took 29,133 people and they gave them beta carotene. You all know what beta carotene is, eh? It's an antioxidant. It helps you fight cancer. Now, all of these people had lung issues, lung cancer situations, and they were trying to find out, hey, um, how would they handle this situation? Would they improve? Well, guess what happened? It increased the cancer growth by 18%. So many people were dying from the beta carotene, the government stopped it. So where does beta carotene come from? Well, the one in this study came from petroleum. Motor car oil. How bad is that? Isn't that just disgusting, right? Now, if you've got anything at home with beta carotene, there's two real forms of beta carotene you can get out in the marketplace. One is petroleum-based, and one is pond slime. Do you know what pond slime is? That's that slime that floats to, you know, pond, nothing eats it. No bug, no critter, no fish, nothing in the water eats it. The only thing that eats it is human beings. They put it in tablets and they sell it to us at a fortune and they call it an antioxidant. So really be careful when you're taking a supplement, just be careful. Look at this next study over here. This is a real interesting study. Um, this study was done in 2007. 2007, they took the 21 biggest manufacturers around the globe um, in, in multivitamins, and this is what they discovered. Of the 21 uh, manufacturers, 11, that is 52%, what was on the label was not in the product. Now, how badly labeled could a product be? Uh, some of you have heard about Monovi. Monovi is a very popular uh, sub, uh, vitamin, health vitamin around the world, which is made uh, in a, uh, it was in liquid form. And they've just been closed down globally because they were incorrectly labeled about a million to one. So if you drank a million bottles, you got the labeling of one, which is just slightly off. I think you know, you agree with that, right? <laughs> so, and I'm not running Monovi down. This is really sad. So I'm showing you that there's lots of companies out there like that. The next one that was really interesting, um, they now discover that there should be 10 good products, but of the 10, three didn't dissolve at all. You took it, it came out the other side, whole. You could still read the name of the product. I was doing a talk in the USA, and there's this couple that just bought this house from a deceased auction. And whenever they flushed the toilets, it wouldn't flush. Flush the toilet would go down very slowly, so they got the plumber in. And the plumber came in and he dug out six wheelbarrows of vitamins out the toilet, out the, out the sewage system. Six wheelbarrows. And when they had them in the garden, they were still could see all the different colors, the, the yellows and the greens, and the, they were still beautiful, bright colors. Some of them might have been in the toilet for 15 years. Do you know what's sad? Those people were trying to stay alive. They're taking the hard-earned money trying to stay alive. The next thing over here, now in our seven, on the seven, one manufacturer was adding lead to their product. Now you know lead's very good for you. Right? <laughs> so now in our six, so they take 2,000 people with stage four prostate cancer, they give 1,000 a placebo, 1,000 the six best supplements they could find. Let me read you the result. The United States National Cancer Institute found that those that took the supplement, the best one they could find, it says in the study may increase cancer, but the graph showed a 32% increase in cancer and nearly 100% increase in death rate over those who took the placebo. But we have to say may, because then we're politically correct. Now, isn't that just really so sad? So if you're buying a vitamin today, I hope, for your sake, it's at least one of those, because then you only die that much faster. <laughs> The next thing over here, they then did another study, and they took a supplement that was made from food. You see, what they discovered is all of these were synthetically made. <coughs> made from turpentine, petroleum, rocks, and metal. They don't tell you that label, I'm going to show you how to read it right now. But then what they did, they took a product made from whole food. 
Juice extracted, dehydrated, organically grown, GMO-free, vine ripened whole foods. And guess what happened? It slowed cancer growth down by 44%. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have to think too much which one I'd rather take. The one that would slow down disease or the one that would increase disease. Two more quick studies. A study uh, done by New York Town com combined with the University from Canada on GNC target Walmart and Walgreens discovered that what was on their label was not in their product. Most of their products had a massive 0% of what was on the label in their product. Their, 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 their herbs had a 0%, which is not much. So if you go to these stores and you're buying a herb from a store, about that much was what was on the label to in the product. It was over 90% of, of what they tested was had nothing in the product. So really important. So you can go and see that research on the internet. So let's go to page six. That's where we are right now, page six. Uh, thank you. I want to teach you quickly how to read a label. Let's sit down and relax for the last five minutes of my talk over here. So if I'm picking up a supplement, the first thing I want to make sure, does it have a seal? What does the seal mean? I just taught you. The seal means that the manufacturer has got a third party to analyze what was on the label is the same as what's in the product. Very important. I don't want to buy a placebo. I want to buy something that's actually going to help me inside me. So pick up the product, number one should have a seal on. Number two, it should say made from whole food. <coughs> Not synthetic. Should say, it won't say it's made from synthetic, it must just say made from whole food. Number three, the vitamin E should say DL for tocopherol. Not DL. D means it's made from a plant. DL means it's made from petroleum or turpentine. And then number four includes all eight factors of vitamin E. Now that's what you're looking for. You see, if it says over there D, it could come from soy. Now most of the soy is genetically modified with Roundup and chemicals and pesticides and toxins which could harm you. But if it comes from organically grown whole food, and that's why it should say number, number four includes all eight factors of vitamin E. Number five, lipids and sterols. This is vital. The lipids and sterols, uh, these are things that balance the hormones. These are things that get the nutrient into the cell and the waste out. So if you're taking a vitamin that doesn't have the two lipids and the one sterol, that product cannot function at cell level. Number six, chelated minerals to enhance absorption like zinc and iron should be chelated. Number B, when you're looking for fish oil, this fish oil should have a seal of approval. You see, you don't, there are different kinds of fish oils out there. And I'm going to just ask an incredible man that I so respect. He's a uh, really educated man in the medical pharmaceutical industry to come forward and show you something. Elijah, come and join us. Thank you so much. Give him a hand. <laughs> that tells you he's really well educated. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'm going to do is very, very simple. You know, I didn't become a scientist by accident. I love experiments. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, three styrofoam cups here, and we just did something earlier to cheat time a bit so we don't waste too much time. Um, so what you're going to see is an exact replica of these styrofoam caps. So what we've done is we've taken three mix of omega-3 oil. One, I won't mention the name, but it's from a very well-known high street pharmacy. The other, a very well-known high street food store. And the third one is actually made from proper food. So, this one is from the High Street well-known food store. And see what's happened to the styrofoam cup. The omega-3 oil has actually eaten out the bottom of it. And this is from the pharmacy. And I am a pharmacist, by the way. <laughs> I feel ashamed. <laughs> And this one comes from food. Looks intact, doesn't it? Yeah. So, 
Give him a hand. Thank you so much. You're out here. Wonderful. Excellent. When anybody Elijah's talking, you want to be there. He's got so much wisdom. Thank you for that, Elijah. So when you're looking for uh, some kind of fish oil or salmon oil, few things, seal of accountability. Number two, uh, cold pressed or cold extracted. You make sure it's not boiled because the minute you boil an oil, it goes rancid. And you don't want to buy boiled olive oil. You don't want to buy boiled coconut oil because it's gone rancid. And you surely don't want to buy boiled fish oil or salmon oil. Number three, includes all eight known oils from the fish family. This is so important because if you can get a fish oil with all eight oils, then guess what? Fish oils are great for the brain. They, they're incredible for protecting you from dementia, from Alzheimer's. They're incredible to protect you from um, you know, uh, your cardiovascular system, your, your joint problems, arthritic pain. It's for wonderful for the prostate, for irritable bowel syndrome. It's incredible for attention deficit, for hyperactivity. It's just a great product. But you want to make sure you're taking something that's good for you, not bad for you. And number four, test it for at least 160 toxins, where the product that I use is tested for over 200 families, which is really incredible. You're looking for an antioxidant to be made from food, not pond slime. It should include 15 families of carotenoid. And uh, there should be some guarantees on the company that studies have been done on it. Like, for example, the one I use in antioxidant um, is juice extracted, dehydrated, organically grown, non-hybrid, vine ripened, non-GMO fruits and vegetables. And studies prove that it will boost your immune system by over th about 37% in 20 days, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Many other studies done on it. And when you're looking for a protein shake across there, this is so, so important. Uh, with, with a protein shake, you want to make sure that that protein shake is not going to harm your body. But before we go into protein shake, I want to ask an incredible friend of mine to come forward and demonstrate um, the importance of removing pesticide from your vegetables, from because they're all coated in pesticide. Thank you, Louis. What, what I've done beforehand to rush it along, I've take, basically taken the two broccolis and the one I've cleaned before and the other. For some reason, hold on my microphone. The other one I've I've kept with a pesticide on it. Okay, so I'll just show you with me. So if you were to take your broccoli with a pesticide on, you see it's been glued on, so the water would just run off. The other one I've used a vegetable cleaner, which is uh, coconut based, and I've cleaned it in there earlier, so you'll see the water would run through now. Okay, so it's clean that off, and you can see the difference in color between the two as well. The one that has the pollutant on and the one that's been cleaned off. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris. Well done. You take that, Chris. Isn't it so exciting to see practical, simple ideas? Now this, I love that coconut uh, soap uh, for shampoo, for bathing, for showering, for shading, for everything because coconuts is a food. And that's the kind of stuff we should be using to wash and bath and, and, that, and shave and that kind of stuff. Well, so many good ideas there that can really empower you to change your life. You see, you need to understand something. The height of insanity is to expect a different result while doing the same thing. You see, for something to change, we something has to change. You need to understand your life is in your hands. Where do you want to be in 20 years' time, health-wise? I just come from Folkestone, and I have seen so many sick people, and I, it really motivated me not to look like them in 20 years' time. With walkers, limping, hobbling, battling to get out of chairs. You see, I want to live until I die. Success is knowledge times action. Do you know what I'm going to recommend you today? The person who asked you to watch this clip, this link on the internet, I would love you to get back to them because we have got so many nuggets, so many ideas. We do workshops that will empower you to take ownership of your life, that you can make quality decisions to become more of the person that God created you to be. Thank you so much.